quickly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Resurrection Remix from for Galaxy S3. This is the version 5.2.1 which is a CM12 based ROM and this is a Resurrection Remixes uh, for first step into the world of Lollipop. So yeah, this is probably the third or fourth ROM which features Lollipop for our device and it is really cool. So let's get started. Uh, here is the standard um, Lollipop uh, lock tree and did you see what I did there? I clicked the home button to open the device. So it is working now. So that is really, really cool. So yeah, flip up for, to unlock the screen. You can see this is just a real deal. Uh, it is Lollipop. It really works pretty neatly. Uh, it's really cool. It does work out. Uh, as you can see, I have been using this as my daily driver for about two days now uh, since it came out. It does really work. Uh, it does really a uh, great job of having me use it as a daily driver. It does support calling. Uh, so that's a load off my back. It's really cool. You can call, you can receive texts. I have actually received a lot of texts from my carrier. So yeah, that's always there. Uh, you do have uh, data with the data a real package available which is uh, thanks to I think the guy is J Monster. I'm not really sure about the guy's name but hey it's working so that is really cool. You can have that working too. So that is pretty neat. So yeah let's get to uh, start with the ROM now. Uh, let's go to the settings menu. You can see in the settings menu you can see in the about from page you have all the versions of it. Uh, and where you can see it is version 5.0.1 this is the latest one till now as of now and um, you have the resurrection remix date is uh, um, of this thing incremental update it is still beta it's not the full way, the full thing cm12 is not out of beta yet so yeah we, we may have to wait for that to get out of beta at all so yeah you can see the resurrection remix uh, version number i think this you can see uh, it is uh, on lollipop you can uh, click this and get the lollipop easter egg uh, click it a bunch of time and then voila you can play uh, flappy droid guy so yeah you can play that i haven't beaten this it's really difficult so you're going to use that now um about the phone itself it's right now at this point in time it is the fastest it is the best um, this uh, it is the best lollipop ROM you, you can, which you can use uh, other than the Alpha 4 which is available by Archeroid so you can use that also but this I guess is a more stable one a lot of people are having boot loops issues with our Alpha 4 uh, I personally didn't have that and I, I did I did have one boot loop with this one but uh, it was just one reboot and one accidental reboot I guess that's uh, acceptable regarding this is still in alpha phase so yeah you can see all the 60 fps animations and all that's really cool now this one is probably the most feature rich lollipop rom out there right now for our s3 because there are a, a lot of uh, feature rich uh, lollipop roms available so yeah let's go to the extra features now uh, all of these are normal features which you can expect out of any other lollipop rom like the alpha 4 or the uh, nameless rom you can expect that now what's special is in the resurrection tools you can see there are there are these four options now interface options gives you uh, access to status bar options now status bar options has a brightness control which we saw in the cm12 uh, quick pull down also which we saw in the cm12 show notification count so that's something new so it, it does give you a round a number of notification which are available so that's really cool show notification count show weather now weather can be displayed here uh, for some reason i'm not able to get that working uh, i'm not sure why that is but hey, it does work out it's really cool uh, clock and date now you can see my clock and date is centered so that's a new feature you can uh, change the color of it you can do whole sort of thing um, date style you can uh, have lowercase upper, uppercase date format also which is which we are uh, used to seeing on uh, previous versions of science and mod so that is now available for our phone so that's really cool now it does have show battery percentage you can have it inside of the phone so that is cool you can have that so you can see there uh, the battery percentage is showing uh, you can have it next to the icon also if you prefer it like that so that's really cool 
It also has the network traffic indicator. You can enable or disable that. I'll go again going. You can see that uh, with the center plug, it doesn't really work a lot of times, but it, it is there if you want that. If you really need to monitor your traffic, so that's really cool. Other options include miscellaneous options. You can see you can uh, change the toast animation. So that is really neat. Now, toast animation that is toast test. Uh, TN this thing so you can change it a whole bunch of lot now there's also list view animation so that's really cool also so list view uh, you can see I have enabled alpha it does work out it's one of my favorite ones so that does really work it also has LCD density changer in build onto the ROM so that is really cool for those who want a sleeker or and sometimes they also need uh, you guys also need a bigger um, font context so you can also do that you can change the dpi the default is uh, 320 you can change it as long as you want so that's really cool so yeah um now let's get to the other settings now uh, in the buttons menu you do have the all the options now that is what i was showing you uh, earlier about the home button for unlock you do have that in here so you can have that so that is really cool now wake up this is the option now uh wake up pressing home button to wake up your device so that is available now it wasn't available with the other uh, lollipop devices before this one so yeah that's really cool you do have extra options like the accessibility ones which are provided in the other ROMs and the previous iterations of the same size and one ROM so it is also available so that is pretty cool um what else do we have now um, Again, we do have change log, which doesn't show you guys much. Um, there is a resurrection 5.01 initial release, which is the 5.2.0. Uh, here are all the options, so that is available to you if you so choose to watch them. Uh, here is the latest one, that is 5.2.1. Um, these are the things which are available, mostly just um, fixes for specific devices, not for our device. So that's there. Apart from that, this is a standard lollipop device, so, uh, so a lot of things are really cool. Now, uh, something which I really found interesting is that there is an option called Disable Search Bar in Recent Menu. So, what that essentially does it is that um, in the Recent Menu, there is a search bar. I didn't actually notice it before because it wasn't there before, so I had to enable it and then disable it to make this uh, notification search bar appear. So yeah, just a uh, heads up to you guys if you want to try that. So you do have that option available. So that is pretty cool. Now you guys all, all of course know what this is. Uh, this is the new style of uh, uh, recent menu, which is pretty cool. Now all the lollipop features, I'm not going to get uh, too much into that because you probably know that. Uh, so yeah, we do have cast screen, which is really cool. If you have Comcast, it's it does wonders, it's really cool. You do have double tap to sleep, which is pretty neat. So, yeah, it goes out sleeping. So, yeah, I really like that feature because it uh, really reduces the amount of effort on your buttons. So, pretty cool. Adaptive backlight for uh, for maximizing battery life. Now, again, battery life is not, well, as expected, it's not the best thing about a new ROM. Uh, you will not get much battery life, but. Um, this graph is like not using the phone at all. This is like charging. I was charging again. Uh, this is from 11 o'clock yesterday morning up to about 5 o'clock. It was in the uh, plus region, I guess. It, it was about a 10 percentage. Uh, so, but again, it, it was like I was not using my phone at all. Uh, I was just using a few. Uh, uh, I, I, it was actually connected to the Wi-Fi, so yeah, it was connected to Wi-Fi for the full time. Uh, but regardless, it's not something which I'm going to consider as a good battery life. It does have a battery saver, which really doesn't work. But hey, we cannot complain too much, uh, as this is not something which is developed by Samsung. It's uh, a bunch of developers who are going through the alpha phase of this. So in the other words, in the Newer versions, I'm going. To, I think I'm going to find a better um, fit for my phone. So that's really cool. Uh, I'm going to expect that at least. So yeah. Um, apart from these things, uh, everything is kind of um, same. 
so as any other lollipop prompts I'm going to show you guys the boot animation now so yeah so here is the boot animation for the resurrection remix prom so yeah minimalistic it's really cool it boots uh, it loops over and over again so yeah that is it with the ROM now I have run a few uh, benchmarks with this uh, ROM um, I'm not going to say this is mind blowing or anything but I got a decent one so that is considering this is in the alpha phase and it's not something which you uh, are going to run as your uh, basic ROM. Uh, it's pretty good but there are CM11 ROMs which can give you 39,000 or 30,000 even if you overclock it. So yeah those are all within limits so yeah but this one isn't too bad for a device which is, of, uh, which is kind of getting a hang of lollipop so that's pretty good. Have that option. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that much is it about the ROM. Uh, yeah, one more thing. I did have a few problems with the Super Sue script, which is available with this ROM. I had to flash the Super Sue. So, uh, it had Super User. Uh, it didn't really work out very well. I had to uh, install Super Sue by Kaush. Uh, just flash the update dot Super update hyphen Super Sue. Uh, .zip file and does that that does the job so you don't need to worry about it so yeah that is really cool again the camera the stock camera does not work you have to use the google camera which yeah it, it, it does wonders uh, it does work out uh, i didn't have any uh, com camera con connect issue yet but i'm hoping for it to come sooner than later so yeah it is going to be there, so that's now it does have audio effects, something I missed out I guess. Uh, audio effects is this uh, new thing by Cyanogen Mod. It has tons of options to uh, actually change everything with, from Bass Boost, from everything. You can change everything, you can customize, you can uh, do everything, you can equalize everything, you can select uh, equalizer presets, you can have uh, reverbs. It's really cool and it really does work out so that's something which I want to emphasize on so yeah that is also available so I guess that much is it about the ROM again this ROM is not something you want to use for daily driver but you can still use it it has reached that stage so pretty cool uh, pretty cool for that um, so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye